salute, Jeez. What up, man? What's good? Coach Davis, live from Brooklyn. Right now, I'm just chilling in my beach chair. You know, taking a break from my push-ups. I got to take my supplement in like a half hour. So I got some time to make another video. You know, I still be waking up early, man. One of the best benefits. But I noticed in my last video, I ain't really get to touch on too many benefits of, you know, being on retention for almost half a year, G. Half a year. I'm on a motherfucking hot street, man. The hot street, nigga. It's crazy, bro. I'm fucking proud of myself. And I'm proud of everybody else that's doing their motherfucking thing. You feel what I'm saying? I'm feeling good. The glow is great. Teeth getting whiter. You know? Eyes and all that. Just putting y'all on, showing y'all what's up. You feel me? It's a beautiful thing that had made it this far. And for those that want to know some of the benefits of making it that far, I'm about to put y'all on. The number one most important benefit that you get, you get clarity. You get to realize that the certain people that you was looking up to ain't really cut how you thought they was cut. And that might hurt you. You might shed a tear. But you're going to value yourself more. When you like, yo, I could be greater than the dudes I look up to. I could be stronger than the dudes I done looked up to. You know, because they not, they not really going as hard as you think they are. Your favorite rapper is depressed on the low. He don't, you know what I'm saying? Yo, he's depressed. You already know how it feels to be busting nuts all over the place. It's not a good feeling, whether you doing it with a bad joint, or IG model, or getting all the likes in the world, or you got a premium Pornhub account, it don't matter. Ejaculating period is whack. That shit is whack. You know? You get stronger, you get clarity, you start to notice that as you get stronger, you five months in, this nigga's out here, that's not even gonna go a week. You go on a basketball court, let's say. Nigga, I'm gonna have to demonstrate this one. Almost fell. Fuck out of here. I'm back up. <laughs> I did almost fell. But look, yo, you on a basketball court and you you on the offense. First of all, your hand eye coordination is through the motherfucking roof. And stop laughing at me, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> Your fucking hand-eye coordination is through the roof. So you're going to make more baskets because you're more in tune with your body. You know how to get the basket better. You know your game more. You know what you need to work on because you're fighting them demons and you're facing yourself more. You know? And that's a beautiful thing. And then when you look at somebody, you can tell that they're not. That's the clarity that you get. You start to be able to see who's doing what. And then you'll realize that most of these dudes ain't doing jack shit. Real talk. They ain't doing jack shit but fronting and getting fly. Smoking and drinking. They pain away because they de fucking depressed. You know? You get on the court. You're going to be noticing these dudes is fool. I'm like, man, this nigga ain't tough. He's not really nice like that. I'm going to hit him with some simple shit and cook his ass. Y'all going to see when I get on the court. I'm going to, you know, when I get back on the court, I'm going to post some clips of how I'm slamming niggas out there. It's going to get ugly. I remember last summer, I was like on a 30-day streak and I was out there hooping. Man, I was out there getting buckets. <sighs> Give me that. Bro, I'm serious on the court. And now this is the longest streak ever, so I can't wait to go get my buckets. I'm going to go out there and get 30. For real. Let me get some air real quick. Sun is out there hitting. Mm, live from Brooklyn. Mm. Live from Brooklyn. <laughs> you feel me? Man, listen. 
The clarity is real. You start to see a lot of these people out here bullshitting. But you you gonna see that when you get on the longer street. Your your senses, all your senses is stronger. You can sense a fertile woman from a mile away. Uh huh. You start to you know you start to notice that you're attracted to certain joints, and you're gonna realize that it's because she's fertile. And there's certain joints that look pretty, that's not gonna matter to you no more. The looks ain't gonna matter. You're gonna be looking for a woman that's just as fertile as you. Because you attract what you are. And if she's not just as fertile as you, then you're not you will not be attracted to her. Yeah, so this is important. You wanna get you a good woman, a good fertile woman? Y'all can have a healthy, y'all can have a healthy family together. Not just a joint that look good but got semen demons. Much of niggas seeming in there fighting against each other. <laughs> oh my nigga. One of the most important benefits you get as well is motherfucking self-worth. You start to value yourself more, man. Because you knew that this was hard. And you know every day on this shit is hard. Every day is hard. And every day might be harder than the last day. Tomorrow gonna be harder than today. So if you having a hard time today, you better start preparing yourself for tomorrow because tomorrow going to be harder. But once you get used to that, nigga, life get easy because you constantly fighting yourself. You taking cold showers, you getting better with the cold showers, your willpower in the cold showers is better. You like, man, I could do whatever I want to do out here. I, I could go to this interview I got to do to get this job, to get my little bag, and I'm going to body this interview. I'm not intimidated. I'm not nervous. I'm going to look that person right in the eye and tell them everything they want to hear to get me this motherfucking job. You know, I got to stop smoking weed because I've been smoking and I got to clean my... Man, that's easy. I'm not addicted to that. And that's going to be you too. Stop smoking cigarettes too, yo. And black and mild. The fuck is wrong with you, man? That shit is going to kill you, bro. And hookah. The fuck is you doing? It's a quick little sideball. Self-worth go through the roof when you notice that you willing to do shit to be your best version that most men will never do. And you will attract better friends in your life that are willing to do better in their life or else you will not want to be around certain people. And you will know why. They may not know why, but who gives a fuck? It ain't about them. <laughs> it ain't about them. It's about you. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't look at me and be like, man, you on five months and I'm only on two weeks. Worry about yourself, bro. You can do it too. I, I'm just giving you some inspiration and letting you know what to be get ready for. You can do it too. You gonna do it. Self-worth gonna be through the roof when you not valuing all these women no more. And you valuing yourself. And now it's gonna take a lot for a woman to get you to bust. Or to get you to even want to bust with her. Because you're going to be trying to get to know her. And if you realize she ain't got no character, she's going to be intimidated to even want to be around you after that when she knows she can't control you with her mouth on your piece or her pussy. Because a lot of these women out here controlling these niggas with sex. She might be a lame-ass female with no character. She can't talk no intellectual real shit besides on Twitter. But she got a good mouthpiece to give a great blowjob. Nigga be like, fuck it. We was arguing like a motherfucker. This bitch is like a wall. She don't listen to nothing I say. But when she give me that blowjob, oh, you know? He, we on some dumb shit. Son over there that's doing that, he on some dumb shit. You know, and if you got a girlfriend, listen, you want, you, you better pull her to the side. You better tell her that you want to do this because you need to get to know, see if she's solid for real. But if you stuck with her, you can't cancel that bitch like Nino Brown. I feel sorry for you, my nigga. You gonna have to figure something out. Listen, self-worth and clarity, two of the most important benefits. And of course, the woman attraction is through the roof. Do I need to say? Do I need to say that though? Y'all already know these women is gonna be fighting for your validation when you don't say little shit like good morning, how you doing, and give them some attention. They will be disappointed. They will want your attention subconsciously and when you don't give it to them they will be disappointed you gonna enjoy that if you ain't got enough willpower though you gonna feed into it and relapse don't do it though you know what i'm saying shout out to all my g's hope y'all enjoyed the video i wish all y'all peace love divine peace love and prosperity
You know what I'm saying? It's real life, health, and discipline. See you to climb the ladder of prosperity, man. I'm out of here, G. Salute.